mushroom hunting. gentlemen welcome back to the channel well, I should probably roll my window up shouldn't be driving either but it is uh, the 10th of May I haven't posted a video in quite some time not sure when this one's gonna get out either but it is mushroom season morels uh, here in the Midwest got some good rain got some good foliage I'm gonna go out and see if we can't find anything probably meet up with Dan uh, Kind of at this uh, recreation center. It's a nice, uh, nice big area of land with a lake. Uh, pretty good timber back there. I did a video a while back. I might post it over here, over here. Uh, it's a little outdated, but uh, feel free to check that out. But yeah, so we're gonna get this started, and I'll check back in with you here in just a little bit. So we just got out here. Oh, sorry for shaking you guys around. Don't have a steady hand today. Uh, just got out here to the spot, and we are going to dip back in these woods, see if we can't find some shaggy bark elms. Um, for those of the, the few that you don't know what that is. So a lot of times when you're mushroom hunting, you're looking for elm trees on south-facing hills. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if it, what the hill is. Uh, a lot of times they grow wherever they please. Uh, but mainly in our area we look for elm trees standing dead and not like, I don't know, what, what I tend to look for is kind of like a shaggy bark. So the bark's still on it, but it's starting to fall off. Usually those are the gold mines. Uh, I got a couple buddies, diehards, that I normally go out with, but it isn't one of these years. And I've been tracking them practically for about a week or two. They've been hitting all the spots before me. So we're going to try back here a couple spots that I haven't hit in a couple years and see what we can't do. Okay, so I got out here. I was kind of bummed. Um, if you can see behind me, I'm not too far off the beaten path. But there used to be all this. All this was actually tall, like shrub type stuff. And you can see they uh, just must have took a bulldozer and flattened it all out but I used to find a bunch of mushrooms around here so I was just scouring literally sorry for getting so close literally got about I don't know 10 yards in first one of the day second one of the day Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. Third one. So I'm gonna post up here for a little bit. See if I can't find a few more. Oh man. You can tell summer's right around the corner. It is hot, it is humid, and somebody's already been here. Found a couple stumps. Found about four. So I didn't get skunked, but I don't know if you can see. But there's some dead standing elms right over there. Check those, found a few stumps. And then these are where I'm going next. You just scour the earth below them. Sometimes you get lucky. So let's see what we can do. So, just came around, as I said, these are the two trees we were just looking under. Came around to the other side. You can tell people are already out in full swing here. That's what you call a stump. So, see if they missed any around here. 
uh, but it's looking pretty well picked, so I'm gonna try a different spot. <laughs> it just came from down the hill. So, this one, from down the hill, just checked that one. I was down over there, but came up, so I'm talking about there. Took two steps, lower down, and what do we have there? That looks like a morel to me. Oh. So, post up here and oh, see if I can't find any more. Sometimes you gotta get down at their level and look up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy picked. Right where you want them. Pinch it off at the bottom where you can cut them. You know what I haven't gotten in a long time, in years actually, you know you come up on a tree like this like I was just saying, you move some leaves and just they're everywhere. Just put my hand in some nettles, that's always good too. Oh here's some plantain, use that, get the oils off here. So. I keep looking up, just waiting for that mother load. <sighs> Season's not over yet though. Stump from before. I was just talking, talking about those nettles. What are you hiding back there for? Gotcha. That's what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. That's the one we were just looking at. Moseyed on up here. Didn't really see anything coming up to this tree. Scowling around. Uh, hiding under a leaf. So, just got that one. It's not the mother load, but finding one here and there, just as fun. Just as fun. Boom. Shake them out, get the spores, the spores out. Let's keep looking. This is fun. Hell. It's about 7.10, maybe an hour's worth of daylight left. Uh, just got off the phone with Dan. He's gonna be on his way, so I'm gonna work up this ridge, see if I can't find any uh, little solo guys just hiding in the foliage, and maybe take a hike back and try to get some other trees before the end of the night, so. All right, well, Danny's here, so. I'm gonna make my way back to the trail. Meet up with him and go try some new spots. Yeah. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. What's up? Hey, nice backpack. <laughs> Twins. Here. So first three I found were right here. Oh, that torn up shit? Yeah, so this used to be all this brush that I used to find a lot of yellows in. And I came up here and I was just like, man. I was like, oh, I'll still take a look. I remember you saying that about like... Actually, that bag's got a rip in it already, don't it? A bit. Yeah, 
See, there's that birdhouse I was talking about. Another one? Three over here. Three. Let me see if I can get to these without. There's one. There's two. Oh, there's four right here. Five comes that first one. Oh. It's in the thick. Oh, there's a decent little tree you're right next to. Right coming off that one. Within eight feet. Oh, it's in the leaves. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But... Yeah, I gotta get these into a bag before I drop them. Good. Hey guys, almost forgot to do an outro. Thanks for watching. If this is something you like, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Feel free to check out our merch store down below as well. Uh, it does help the channel. And also feel free to check out the Patreon. Kind of been dropping the ball on that, but definitely going to be uploading some stuff more regularly here real soon. So once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.